Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. It is the King and I Life podcast hosted by myself, Soul Touch the Poet, and my brother, Sean Soul Legs. Yeah. Hit us up again, whatever podcast platform that you uh, subscribe to uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, like, subscribe, and share. Um, Sean Soul X. You guys can hit us at A I N G A N D C Y E 369 at gmail.com. Again, that's King and I369 at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. If you have some topics you, you want to hear us discuss, please send them in. I mean, we've been getting some great responses. Um, we love the, the topics that you know our audience have been uh, emailing, texting <laughs> through through voicemail, however you want to put it. We we get it. Right. So we, we are trying it. to chop those up. But yeah. uh, anyway, again, you guys hit us up on the email for real. We got you. Yes, yes, yes. So I mean, this this topic was actually sent in to me through text. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was right. It was right on time. You know, with with uh, Juneteenth becoming a federal holiday today. Um, you know, we've been talking, you know, a lot on this and in various other aspects of our existence in this in this country alone, not, not even the world. Um, you had said some things on the last segment that I wanted to respond to. Um, All right. but with my little glitch over here, I kind of lost it in my panic and trying to get back up. But, uh, um, I think one thing that you, that you said that, that I can remember was that, um, as far as us opting into this system, um, <sighs> to a degree, we didn't have a choice but to be a part of this system. I'm not going to say that by default we were a part of it because we were not. They did not want us in this system. Um, again, they looked at us like property. For, for the longest time. They treated us like property for the longest time after and still to this, to this day in, in certain places we're treated like property. But um, the thing about it is, you know, when you, when you say us coming over on slave ships, uh, people selling us out and this, that, and the other, um, you have your opinion on that for me, when I look at how we act today, our, our people as a whole, I can't, I can't say otherwise that you know some of us sold us out back then because they're still doing it now. Um, and a lot of movies and TV shows, they to depict what happened back in those days. Um, <clears throat> um, some of it I take with a grain of salt um, and look at it as just entertainment. Um, but there's a percentage of it that I look at as, you know, damn, that's where we came from. Um, one of the things that, that strikes me uh, about a lot of this stuff that's in TV, um, that, that certain people post on their YouTube channels about, you know, our culture, our history, um, whatever I've read in books, uh, researched on my own. Um, I feel like they called us animals and, and, and property and treated us like that for so long that we still have that mentality. It's like if you have a dog or a cat or any type of pet and you train your pet to be a certain way to, to, your, to your liking or whatever the case may be, uh, that pet is going to be like that. Now, let's just say you have a male and a female pet and they produce young. That young is going to carry the traits of their parents. And, you know, those traits are going to pass on from generation to generation. So 
when I look at a lot of the stuff that our people do, it's not organic to us. Um, some of them things that I look at, like rape and, and, you know, domestic violence and a lot of that stuff. Personally, I don't think that's organic to us. I could be wrong, could be totally wrong, but I don't think it's organic to us. And I say that because of how we were treated when we were oppressed. We've carried those traits on into deep into our culture. It's deeply ingrained in our culture. Um, you know, you said you don't blame the people who turn to drugs that, that I was talking about or whatever the case may be, however you word, I'm just paraphrasing. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and you were saying that they can't handle certain things or this, that, and the other, <clears throat> that is the one thing that frustrates me about our people. Um, because on one hand we can say, we can high praise our culture for, you know, its strength, its wisdom, its contributions, its this, its that, and all this other stuff. But then on the other hand, we have to look at our faults. And it's like our faults should not be equal to our accomplishments and abilities. Our faults should not outweigh our accomplishments and abilities. So when it to circle back around to Juneteenth and and you know, states changing voting rights, we have to stop um going along with you know the status quo so to speak or we have to stop accepting little um and expecting a lot we we have to put forth the effort to demand what we want and again i'm not saying that we need to be out there begging and pleading for peanuts or this that and the other um we we have to we have to fight for um um that's 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 what i got today i'm gonna start to ramble <clears throat> when I, I i say i don't blame people for wanting to uh get high um i mean that to a certain extent um again it is it all comes down to choice, right? But when I say that, I, I'm saying to you is, again, not everyone, you know, has that same mindset that we have, that they're not that mentally strong. So for whatever reason, these people chose to um, get high and destroy their lives, um, they chose that. You and I, we are the architects to our lives. Would you not agree on that? Yeah, I would agree. We we built the life that we we feel that we want or we desire. I would agree. So what I'm saying to you is people in general, they design the lives that they, they feel they want. Some would disagree with me and say, you think I want to be living like this or not living in a, a million dollar house or something like that? To a certain extent, yes. You, you made a choice. Whatever, wherever you're at now, you had your part in that. I can't say all of it was yours, but majority of it was yours. So, um, the predicament we're in now when it comes to our culture, I can't say it was all our choice. I want to say we were led in this direction, thinking that we we're going in the right direction, but we're not. So when it comes down to now and being aware of where we're at, Again, we have a choice. We can go in another direction or we can keep participating 
with what we're given. So again, we see other cultures like uh, Hispanic cultures or Chinese cultures or uh, Italian cultures. They all have their own communities where they own where they live. They support each other's businesses. When I go into some of the um, areas that I, I grew up in, and I see the shops, um, some of them are ran by um, people of my complexion, but they don't own the damn buildings. They don't own the land. They're still paying rent. And then when I see other people from other cultures with their stores in these communities, they don't contribute to the local high school or middle school or preschools or uh, the local boys and girls club. They don't contribute. Only thing they do is fucking take. So that comes back again to us because we make the choice to go into their shops and spend our money with them instead of our own. So again, it comes down to, to choice. We can have our own by buying our own land within these communities. By taking those buildings that have been abandoned and uh, fixing them up and putting people that look like us in those storefronts, whether they are the ones that actually own that property or they run that property for someone else. If everybody else can do it and we have done it before, why the hell can't we do it again? When people say, you know, we're, we're never going to do that. We're never going to get, you know, to where we once were. I disagree. I just think that the direction we're going in is not going to get us there. See, that's the problem. And, and again... This goes back to what I keep saying. If we don't put the right people in places, if we don't involve ourselves, we're not going to get a damn thing. We're not going to go back to what we had back then. We're not going to have another Tulsa. We're not going to have another all the other cities, Rosewood and anything else that we had back in the day. We're not going to have it. Now, you're saying, you know, our people will go spend their money in all these other places, but not on our own. At what point as a whole do we say, hey, we need to spend our money in our places on our own? It ain't going to happen. They've been preaching this bullshit for goddamn decades. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> now, if, if you're saying we shouldn't um, be satisfied with what they give us, we need to have our own. But wait. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back the car up a little bit. We might have to run over a few of our people to back the car up a little bit. Now, check it out. When you talk about the Hispanics, when you talk about the Asians, when you talk talk about the, the Italians, when you talk about the Greeks, when you talk about the Africans that come over here, you know what the fuck they do? They take what they are given and they build it. We don't do that anymore. We stopped doing that a long time ago. So as much faith as you have in our people, I have a little less faith in that because we have so many of our people in prominent places that don't lead the way. You know who the hell they're, 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 they're up there preaching from the mountaintop but the people on uh, preaching from the mountaintop to the people on the ground and the people on the ground looking up at the mountaintop and like, who the hell are you? I'm worried about me. I'm not listening to what you're saying. So when you talk about 
the 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 Asians and whoever else who have stores in our communities and they own the building and this, that, and the other, not contributing to our schools, they shouldn't. It's not theirs. It's ours. No, 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 no. It's our community. And because it's our community, we need to act like it's our community. We need to stop saying, oh, but it's not ours. It's not ours because jackass won't buy the fucking building. Jackasses over here won't support the building. If you go into Baltimore City alone and you see all these abandoned damn row houses, matter of fact, when I get a chance, I'm going to go down there. I'm going to take you a picture and show you. You'll have two to three row houses look nice or decent. Then you'll have one, two or three fucked up. You have one good. You have another one fucked up. And then you'll have three or four that's good. And they're okay with that. Our people all on this block are okay with that. You know what they're doing? They're sitting on the corner drinking and smoking and getting fucking high. Yes, it's a choice. Is it a choice that betters us? No. Is it a choice that betters our community? No. We bitch and whine about redlining, gentrification, and all this and all that. But here's the thing. If we invested in our own stuff, I would have so much faith in us having another Tulsa. Another whatever we had back in the day. But if I can go into Baltimore City, and again, I'm not talking about what they show on the news. I'm not talking about what they have on social media. I'm not banking on hearsay. If I can go into Baltimore City with my own two eyes and look at what our people are doing, I can say this shit right here is the problem. We don't have enough people saying, you know what? I need, we need to get together and get our shit together. You know what? So many Asians have fucking chicken spots in Baltimore City. They have so many markets and most of the vendors in the markets are either Asian, Hispanic, or whatever else. They're not all ours. So again, in order for us to bring it back to Juneteenth and all this other stuff, if we are not opting in for us, whether it be in the system or not, whatever the case may be, but we cannot get away from the system, period. If we are not opting in for ourselves, we ain't getting shit. We're not going to get away from taxes. We're not going to get away from any type of fucking tax unless you say, fuck it, I'm not paying my taxes. What happens then? You fuck yourself. You might say, you know what? I'm going to work a, 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 a decent job under the table and get paid under the table. You still got to pay taxes. You're not going to get away from it. Every time you spend a dollar somewhere, you're paying taxes. So you might as well just pay your fucking taxes. You cannot opt out of the system unless you say, fuck it, I'm going somewhere else where I don't have to worry about this. Period. Period. Let me ask you one question, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to get away from the subject. We right. both know what happened in uh, Oklahoma. We know that, you know, bombs were dropped on these people, right? Can you name one other race of people here within this country? They did that, that to the Japanese. To. In this country. They had them in internment camps. In this country. Way this, after slavery was over. During World War II. They took all the motherfuckers and put they them in camps. 
It's not about dropping bombs. They, they took they their bombs liberties and rights away. At that point, no, they were okay. So look at it like this. But the question Tulsa is Tulsa happened that. in what year? 18 what? 1800 something. I can't recall. World War II was that. in what, 1950 something like that? World War II, they yeah. was not dropping bombs on, 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 on different races of people in this country. They moved way past that. Did they take us and throw us in internment camps during World but War II? No. We had to deal with our own other bullshit. But they took them not only in the continental 50 states, but also on Hawaii. They did the same thing to them over there. But the question is, again, what other race of people? What had other? And that's just like saying, what other race of people endured slavery soil, like we this, did? This this U.S. soil. No, listen to the question though. Can you name one in other America? Race? No. We're in not America, talking about no. But what, uh, what, what does that have to do that. with where we are today? Okay. So again, if we were the only ones had fucking bombs dropped on us because we were doing it for ourselves, don't you think just because they drop bombs on us that they, they, they're, they're not going to stop, stop with, with anything? That? Do you think that they're not going to do do other uh, things like gentrification, redlining, on and on and so forth? But whose fault is that? Do you that? think they're not going to do that? At what time, at what point, at what point do we say, you know what? Y'all dropped bombs on us. Y'all had nigga barbecues with us. You hung us from trees. You beat us with whips. You uh, mind fucked us. You did a litany of things to us. Voting rights, uh, the, the grandfather clause, all that other stuff. You did all that stuff. At what point do we stop looking that far back and say, you know what? I'm looking at today and you ain't doing that shit to me no more. At what, when do we get to that point? When do we get to that point? We went by the system then, just like we're going by the system now. No, we didn't necessarily go with the system then. We said we're going to do our own thing. Yes, we did. Because we're not we going still, to get away from paying pay taxes. taxes back then, right? We we still pay taxes. We own our own businesses. We did everything. So that means give up, and we did it for ourselves. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, again, back then we did it for ourselves, even though we were participating in the the system. But what I'm saying is now, why can't we do because that? Because we ain't built Meaning like that no for more. for ourselves. That's why. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> Plain and simple. We ain't built like that no more. Wow. Again, again, we did it. Oh, so we can say, oh, we, we played by the rules of the system and look what they did to us. They bombed us. They did this. They did that. And blah, blah, blah. And way, way, way. Okay, so what the fuck is stopping you from doing it again? Nothing. They ain't going to drop no more bombs on us. We have enough people. We have enough. We have enough of our people with they did it. common sense, intelligence, pro-black, and all this other stuff. And where the hell are we now? We got jokers out here making a choice to get fucking high and waste their fucking lives when we can use those strong bodies and strong minds to build. And they did it then. If do you think they will not do it again? Get our shit together. It's less likely to happen now. You're talking about something that happened. Over a hundred years ago. I have to disagree. They're not operating the same way they did now. 
just like we're not operating the same way we did now. We have too many of our people pacifying bullshit, which is a detriment to us as a whole. Period. We, why, why are we so focused on what the hell they did a hundred years ago to you or whatever the case may be? Because they're still and still doing to, it to this us day, to you, this none day. of us are getting off our ass because we are bucking the system. And they bullshit ass none of us system. are getting off our ass and bucking the system. I, t- I put it to you like this. Put it to you like this. Put Again. it to you like this. All right. When you get tired of somebody fucking with you, what you going to do? That's the question. What you going to do is you get tired of somebody fucking with you, no matter who it That's is. That's the question. So, with that being do said, what's necessary. If we tired of motherfuckers shooting right. unarmed black people in the back, why the fuck ain't we doing something about it? If we tired of pushing, being pushed out the fucking communities that we live in, why we ain't doing shit about it? If we're tired of people in the government making choices for us that don't align with what, where we, what we believe in, why we ain't doing nothing about it? That goes to my point. We ain't built like that no more. We ain't built like that. I should not have to go into Baltimore City and see so many of our people strung out on drugs. Saying, oh, well, the white man, this, the white man, that, and uh, uh, this is the, the environment that I grew up in, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if 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 I leave it to the mentality, oh, oh, well, that's the environment that you grew up in, and I accept that from you and say, well, you know, you made a choice. Look how many more people are going to follow that path, that mindset. To the point where it's like, well, damn, I thought we had a chance, but hell, half the people that I thought I can count on is strung out. They lies, thieves, and prostitutes and drug addicts. Great minds going to waste. But I'm sitting here saying, yo, we could have our own. You know what? I'll get with you after I, you know, get high real quick. Or, you know, I'm going to go get this drink and, and, and I'll be back with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about what happened to Tulsa? Fuck that. They ain't got nothing to do with me. So you, you, you're literally telling me that you're okay with the direction that we're going in right now. Half of us are going in the wrong direction. Half is going in the right direction. And half of us just don't give a fuck. But at what point do we get tired of going through what the hell we're going through? At what point do we say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm tired. But you know, look. We'll be back. King and I Life Podcast hosted by myself. So touch the pole here, my brother. Look here. We'll be back. We ain't gonna say too much Sounds fluff, so but we're gonna be back. <laughs>